Hello Libras, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of May 18th to the 24th. I have a lot of cards that just flew out. I think I have enough here. Okay, so let's look at the first one. We have the Queen of Coins in the upright position. So at the heart of the matter, a lot of you might have quite a, um, a spectacular work environment for this week. So you're making the money and at the same time there is a sense of like inner calm and stability within you. And you're focusing more on your work, you're laying low and in general you're not really reliant on, on other people in order to get the work done. Okay, it's a very good energy. What's crossing it is the Empress. Um, so the crossing energy is neutral. It is very, um, it, it's not like reverse or, you know, upright. But what I do sense in here is um, we do have the Queen energy and the Empress energy. So a lot of you, male or female, you are claiming your domain, okay? You are very comfortable in your skin this week and you are able to be very diplomatic but firm. So I do sense that um, in general for Libras, it's difficult to be a leader mainly because you do see both sides of the, the coins, which is good. But at the same time, when it comes to like making the hard decisions such as letting go of employees who don't really carry their weight or scrapping projects or, you know, like... um having to put in like a harsh words regarding somebody's performance, it can be problematic, okay? But at the same time, I do feel that that sense of diplomacy is going to help you greatly this week to gain friends and to um, to really like, um, if you are in a supervisory position, for example, the way that you tell uh, people to do certain things or the way that you... Um, explain how to do procedures or how to follow per certain procedures, you're going to be very well received. And what I'm sensing here is that there's a balance with diplomacy and firmness in general, okay, to get the job done and to direct people and to cultivate trust and respect in people, okay, so it's a very nice energy. Um, in the past, this is the recent past, we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords is somebody that um, is very diplomatic, so... Um, Sword energies are usually, you know, uh, as like the Knight of Sword is a very impulsive energy. Queen of Swords is somebody who's very guarded. But the King of Swords is a very good energy in that um, he or she can also like try to get at the truth in the spirit of, you know, seeking the truth rather than... Um, to undermine other people or to put other people down with the truth okay so this is a good energy so it's taking you a long time to cultivate this and um, you know the the diplomacy is coming about because you are seeing the big picture and you're seeing like how you can direct people and how you can um, cultivate trust and mutual respect from both sides so I do feel that the element of truth here is that you no one's an island okay you can't really like be isolated and live in your own bubble you are incorporating other people into your life which is something libras are just very good at but naturally i, I do feel that um when this is coming out if you are in in any type of like a, a position of authority you're able to like um, be detached enough, but also you know be someone's uh, your employee's friend, somebody that that they trust to come to with all kinds of issues. Okay, so um, what's coming in here is the Temperance card in the reverse position. So this is an energy that is coming in. So innately, you want to also want to uh, to to cultivate like friendships, but it is important to maintain boundaries. Okay, so there is an element of like not letting like kind of like resurrecting your wall halfway so that you can have you know your own space but at the same time allowing the right people in and allowing room for other people to approach you if there are problems okay I know that um this is more of a work oriented um, type of energy that I am picking up here um, not so much for romance, but it's more work-related, okay? So what's crowning you is the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is basically, um, it's a card of defense, um, defending yourself against other people's um, attacks based on, you know, your character, even the way you behave. And, you know, just keep in mind that... Um, you're uh, the minority and you're fighting against like a huge majority, okay? And just because there are more of them, that doesn't mean that they're right. So it's kind of like mob mentality, okay? So one person has this um, idea that is it, just, you know, bizarre. 
but then they get other people to go along with it. So everyone's on the bandwagon, but that doesn't mean that it's right. So if you strongly believe in something, you really have to defend yourself and you have to put, you know, you um, don't shy away from the limelight to express what it is that you truly believe in. Because I do feel despite being the minority, you are right here. Okay, so hold on to that and don't bend to the majority. Um, as for what is you know in the environment that you are not aware of here is we have the hierophant and the hierophant here in the reverse position is corroborating the same thing just because there are structures and institutions that have been around for a really long time it doesn't mean it serves society's greater interest okay so um, we have like a breakdown in the structure here with both of these cards okay where you have a, a good idea and you have like a way in which you can make work a lot more efficient a lot more streamlined and just a lot more productive other people are hesitant about implementing this new thing because that means they have to work harder there's no longer an excuse for them to like you know sit back and be lazy so of course they're going to be angry so you really have to understand where the other person's coming from and I do feel in the recent past you've come to this realization that you have a great idea but um, other people are not on board so just make sure that um, in the spirit of like maintaining your integrity, you really have to fight against the institutions here, okay? So you're on the right track. Um, don't shy away from, you know, taking on that extra responsibility or putting yourself in the limelight so that you can defend your beliefs, okay? Okay, so um, as for your spiritual advice here, I do have the judgment card in the reverse position. So what this, this indicates to me is that, um, you know, in, in this epic battle, it's important to know that um, changes are not implemented overnight, okay? It's a slow, very gradual process because you have to change like the the structure of things and people and you're dealing with like a huge institution here so this is something that is uh tried and true but at the same time it's not the most efficient way of doing business or or, or like to um streamline processes so you're you're fighting like a a difficult battle so just know that the progress is going to be very slow and and kind of like um, I wouldn't say difficult but I would just say that um, the payout is not going to be immediate keep at it if you truly believe in it and then everything will fall into place but it is going to be a slow process okay judgment in the reverse position also indicates to me that um, you know like upright it does mean like a new beginning but at the same time this we do have mercury in retrograde so progress is going to be very very slow as for your external environment, I have the Six of Swords here. So people are resistant to change, okay? And this is something that you can't really fix. And at the same time, don't uh, let them persuade you that what you're doing is wrong. If you truly believe in it, then, you know, don't succumb to the peer pressure is what I'm sensing and go back to former ways of doing because the old ways of doing are not for society's greater good, okay? Okay. Um, as for your hopes and fears, we do have the tower in the reverse position, okay? And the tower in the reverse does indicate to me that um, you want to implement these changes. You want like this new way of doing that can be, you know, uh, against the status quo. But at the same time, you want to like, imp I guess, like uh, implement changes completely. You don't want to, um, you don't want to do it halfway, okay? So it's all or nothing, and you're. At this point, you're not afraid that you're, you're going to either get it all or just you know, get nothing out of it. But you're afraid that things are not going to work out if they are implemented like half-heartedly. So that's your major concern at this point. And I do sense that um, it's not realistic to expect this, um, this outcome. And in general, I do feel that, you know, Again, it is corroborating the same card in that change is going to be a slow process, okay? So little bits and pieces have to be implemented and change the innate structure of an institution, of a um, work environment, of a relationship, or even of a situation. Any situation that you're dealing with in which you're implementing massive changes and people are, are very resistant. So what I sense here is just, you know, it is going to be a slow process. So 
let it ride out the way the the best way that it can ride out okay so through gradual change people are going to start to see how efficient and how you know just um, it's just a better way to do things so just let that new energy come in and you know ride out however it may and um, don't place too much expectations on yourself that you have to do this you know epic battle in order to change everything all at once okay so be very realistic and at the same time be very patient about progress as for your outcome we have the high priestess in the upright position so this is actually a very good card um, in this deck what I am getting with this card is um, you know the energy is the same this is you know lifting the veil revealing the truth okay this is a card of revelation um, I do feel that um, it can play out in two ways okay so revelation for other people it could also be like self-revelation, okay? And I do feel in the past, you have this King of Swords in which, you know, this is an air energy. I'm reading this as you, male or female, in which you've come to terms with a lot of things, okay? You've come to terms with, you know, the, the tr truth of the matter. And I'm sensing that a lot of you might work in this setting in which, you know, things are done pretty inefficiently. Things are like so backwards and you don't really understand why people allow it to happen, okay? So that's something that you were grappling with for quite some time. However, in this situation, it can play out in two ways. And, and then you're, um, you're kind of like reaching this phase in your life in which there is a revelation. Now you understand why people allow it to happen because it's, um, it requires less work on their end. It requires them, you know, kind of like ignorance is bliss. If you're not aware of the problem, then the problem doesn't affect you, you know, it doesn't haunt you and keep you up at night, okay? So now you're aware of, like, the human motives in this situation. It is disappointing, but at the same time, it is helping you approach this dilemma in a more mature manner. And also, um, it can be problematic at the same time because, you know, don't succumb to this, okay? Regardless of what everybody else is doing, Make sure that you do your own thing. Make sure you always, like, uh, you never compromise your values, okay? I know that as a Libra, it is hard to go against the grain, but ultimately I do feel this is a test of your inner strength, okay? So it is going to be a very, very important week. Hold on to your values, okay? Don't compromise for anybody else because um, I do feel that a lot of you are in the right position here. So um, this is a, a card of revelation, okay? It could be from other people. They're finally coming around to your way of doing, which I hope. Or it can be a revelation within yourself if you want to go against the tide, if you want to, um, I guess, pursue this difficult battle, okay? So it's... Um, it's going to reveal a lot about whether or not you have that inner strength to move forward, okay? So I hope, um, let me know how this plays out for you guys. This is a very interesting spread and um, I'm getting messages of like um, like an epic battle, like a, a very um, epic ethical dilemma, okay? So let me know how this plays out for you. I hope you have a wonderful week regardless and, you know, self-revelation is always important. So um, if you like this reading, if it resonates with you, please like, share, subscribe and let me know how this plays out for you in your life as well, okay? Thanks for watching.